So it's early evening. I am out on the actual road in my front yard. And what I'm looking for is probably one of the craziest insects you can possibly find. And a couple of my friends are here who've been looking for one of these insects for years. Harrison Evan from the Wildlife Brothers, do you wanna say hello? How's it going? It's going. All right, what are we looking for today? We are looking for velvet ants. Any species we can find, but there's one that we both have our eye on. It's the largest that we get around here, the Eastern velvet ant. There's a secret world all around us. All kinds of amazing creatures living hidden lives right under our noses. Getting out and exploring it can be just like finding cool secrets in a video game. And some creatures are more special or rare than others. Today, I'm working with the Wildlife Brothers as we search for the Eastern Velvet Ant, an insect they've wanted to find for years. And this road is the perfect place to find them. Now, scanning along this leaf litter here is actually the most likely way to come across one of these velvet ants. Now, they're not the most difficult to find, but it's certainly not something you see on every outing. So it's really gonna take a lot of concentration from all three of us scanning along here in order to find one of these insects. This insect gets its name from the fact that it looks like a huge fuzzy ant. But don't be fooled. These are solitary wasps, and they're known to pack a sting more powerful than any old ant you can find in your backyard. The velvet ant is incredibly docile, though, and will only use this sting as a last resort defense if it feels threatened for its life. Its main defense is its incredibly bright coloration. As we search the side of the road, we're hoping that this bright coloration stands out against the environment, which will help us seal our catch. Ah, moving over there. Yeah. Wait, that's a velvet ant. No way. That's a velvet ant. No yep. shot. That's an eastern. No. Oh, there it yes. is. There it is. I have to paint her right here. Oh, no before, question. Before, before she goes in the uh, yep. pines. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. I don't see these Dude. very often. Dude. That is so exciting. You have no idea. All right, what we have here is the Eastern Velvet Ant, one of my favorite wasps out here, and a really remarkable insect. One of my absolutely incredible thing to find. Now, she is missing a little leg there with some Oh, yeah, she is. Probably had a, huh. a bad encounter with a predator, but have a look at that coloration. Now, this is a beautiful, beautiful insect. That bright orange coloration is so striking. You can't miss them when you see a Velvet Ant. I bet we could even pop the lid off now. Oh yeah, we can. She is huge. She's a huge abdomen is packed full of venom. That is one insect you do not want to be stung by. But a big question is, how aggressive is this insect actually? And I think I'm gonna go after it. You're gonna go for it. I'm gonna test it. This yep. is big. I'm gonna test it. You're not worried? Nah. So here's the thing. That coloration I just pointed out is actually their first warning. This is an animal that will warn you long before you're on top of it that it has some potent venom. And that's something we like to call here in the biology world, aposomatic coloration. And you can see right here, this is not the behavior of an insect that wants to sting me. She's a little bit perturbed by my hair because I am a hairy man. Ah, But she is actually more content to just explore you can see her antennae just probing me as she walks. Absolutely curious. Not threatening, not aggressive. May I take her? Absolutely, I know it's a, a big one for you, Evan. Yep, this is a species with a formidable reputation said to have a sting so excruciating that it will kill a cow. That's where they get their nickname, the cow killer. And of course, that is not actually true. This is not a species that poses any danger to a human, especially, well, really to any animal. That sting is just for defense. And that's the thing. See, these insects are out here looking for, for uh, insect eggs to lay their eggs on. They're a parasitoid. That means that sting, that venom, is not for prey. It's not for killing. It's strictly for defense. So they've evolved an excruciatingly painful sting that won't land you in the hospital, it won't kill you, but oh boy, is it gonna hurt. After you're stung by this insect, you're gonna see that red coloration in the field and you're gonna think twice about messing with it. Now we have Harrison here holding the velvet ant. He, uh, he wanted a shot. Absolutely. Now Harrison, how difficult would you say working with this animal is? They're actually really easy to work with in terms of 
just handling her. She's really just walking around, probing me with her antenna, just trying to figure out, aw, she's cleaning there. Just trying to figure out what's going on. That said though, this is never an animal that I would encourage someone to go and interact with on their own. All three of us have spent many years working with wasps. We know how to read their body language, understand when they're comfortable to be held like this and when they really aren't. And I'll tell you, this is definitely not a species you would like to be stung by. So for that reason, if you see them, they're one to admire, not to pick up directly. This wingless wasp is not the only incredible secret that the Wildlife Brothers and I found on our adventures in North Carolina. Right here is a video where we found an incredible Helgramite while out exploring a swamp. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.